What's up everybody? Welcome to another Press X Let's Play. I am Kevin McManus, and today we are playing the new special demo version of Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, this just released a few hours ago. It was kind of a stealth release. They just announced it on Twitter. <clears throat> Obviously, I've, uh, I've already done some work in it, but we're just gonna hop in and check it out together. All right. So you got voice acting right. now, you have uh, just snappier menus and things like that. I was disappointed by some things in this and I was excited by others. So, um, hmm, we'll play the tutorial level and then one or two other levels, I guess. The tutorial set. level is a tutorial for all uh, accounts and purposes. It's lots of talking, lots of, uh, lots of dialogue and things like that. but. I'll let it kind of play through just so you guys can see it and, and get the full experience of the game and kind of see what's going on. So right off the bat with the voice acting, there was something I had a problem with, and the voices sound fine. There's one or two that I'm I'm not too thrilled with. Um, this does have the Japanese voice actors as well, so I can take a look at those later and see if I prefer them. I probably won't because I almost never do. But... Um, my biggest issue is that they don't have any sort of lip sync. And I'm not, that doesn't bother me too much, but the problem is they don't show really who's talking besides saying who's talking. And I'd much rather ju them just have almost like a codec um, 2D image of the person go up if they're talking. Again, like, the I, I, it's a small a detail that they could probably emergency. add, because there's probably not that much voice acting in this game, this uh, that I feel like would heavily, heavily improve the game of right off the bat. All 52 told, states. A comment from Gregory Graham, CEO of so I feel like that would heavily uh, improve the, Dine, of course, the game right the off the bat already. And then um, the other thing with the voice acting that Attention. I'm not a giant fan of is just Attention. they're is very on? stereotypical <laughs> characters uh, for the My most part. Like hello, the military hello. guy just sounds like in a military time, general. Right? I just is obsessed Dine with burning just things. It's just like me burn stress. stuff. And, um, that I, I, it's that that's fine for this type of game, I, I figure. All, all of the Mega Man games are like that, too. The characters uh, act we right on the nose, um, and I guess that's part of the fun of it. But then Call in this game is just like a robot. I mean, she has a robot voice, and she acts like a real robot, and I'm like, that's kind of weird. And she's actually my favorite character of all the characters that I, I've seen on this demo. Thanks, Avi. As you can see, we've got a few after the found on, well... So this is a, uh, for those who don't know anything about this game, this is a spiritual successor to Mega Man. Um, it's Mighty Number no. 9, same concept as Mega Man. A robot was, or uh, nine robots were built with, um, the intent of helping people, basically. Uh, eight of them turned bad, and the last one remaining has to fight the other ones in whatever order they want, take their powers, and basically earn them back. So very, very similar concept. The gameplay is almost nothing like Mega Man, though. Besides jumping and shooting, you don't play it very, uh, similarly. So here's how this one works. You shoot them until they glow a color, and then you dash into them. And that gives you some sort of ability and points. Uh, the more you chain together, the more points you get, and depending on the color they are, that's the ability you get. So blue is like a heal, but then there's also red, which makes you hit harder, uh, yellow, which is a defense buff, and green, which makes you run faster. I, I really, really like the green and red ones. Uh, the running faster is really, really fun, but it does throw off your, uh, your timing for, for when you normally make the jump. So you might be doing a level and you make a, a jump pretty easily because you have that speed boost, and then you do it again the next time and you miss the guy that gives you the speed boost and you miss the jump because you assumed you could make it. So it's a little weird because the physics of your character change on the fly, I guess it's what we're trying to say. Um, but so far I'm enjoying it. There, this was a kickstarted game um, with tons of controversy around it. Probably one of the one of the more controversial kickstarters. Not nothing like the Oculus uh, selling to Facebook, but it, it's a pretty controversial kickstarter. And basically, they just people were complaining about updates, which I never found. I, I feel like they gave uh, enough updates, plenty of updates, way more than any of their kickstarter that I've backed. They just weren't good updates, meaning 
they weren't always things you wanted to hear. Um, but I mean, it's, that's that's the business. Things go wrong. I, I feel like this is pretty on point. I don't know, because I, I obviously don't work in the video game industry. But I'm sure stuff that happened to this game happens to games all the time, but it's always just behind closed doors. Like, this game would probably just have been revealed at E3 this year if, um, if it didn't have to be kickstarted. So, you drop down like that, and it took me a moment. Destroy a bunch of these things. These guys are actually kind of annoying. I feel like they're kind of the hardest enemy in the, uh, in the, in this whole demo, is these things besides bosses. Here we go. Oh shoot. Here we go. Right. Just yeah, this is just the tutorial Zonda. level, so nothing, nothing too Zonda, exciting, but I'll, I'll play one or two more levels for you guys after this. What was that? Hop in here. So this is the first boss. Uh, you can pretty much wail on him, or you can learn his pattern. I have only fought him once so far, uh, so I I could die here. I love the zoom in to show the bosses. It's awesome. We'll kind of critique this as we go. I feel, I feel like that's kind of a fun way to do it. But with bosses, what you want to do is hit them, hit their health bar down until they start glowing, and then dodge into them. And then that... Um, that will uh, cause them to take that damage permanently, almost like a fighting game where you get their health down and then they recharge if they're if they uh, if you give them too much time, they'll kind of recharge a little bit of their health. That's how these boss fights actually work, which is kind of neat. But there we go. We took out the first boss pretty easily. Felt like I could have done a little better, but things are only going to get worse from here, so. Especially if we do the electric chicks level, because I... Oh man, I hate her. She's... Her level's the worst. She's fine, but her level sucks. So after each level, you get a score, and you get a rank. Um, so way more replayability and speedruns and stuff like that than, than other games. Uh, so we'll just hop straight to this next level, which is the, the fire level. Pyro. Mighty number one. Go! Uh, this... See, I like that. It, on the bottom there, it shows his face and it shows what he's saying. I feel like it should be like that for every conversation, whether they're in the room or not, just because of the no lip sync, uh, thing. It seems nitpicky, um, and maybe it is, but... I just, I want this game to be as good as, uh, as it can be, and I feel like that's something that would very much help it. When you nail the quick movements in this game, it feels so good, but it, when you don't, and you don't know what you're doing, it's in, it's pretty frustrating. Um, you're just like, I'm awful. I'm, I'm definitely doing better than I did my my first go, though. That's a, that's a fact. Oh, shoot, I didn't know those turned around if you jump behind them. Oh no. I fell down there once before and it was a pain in the butt to get out of. Hit. The knockback in this game is pretty uh, tremendous, way more than something like Mega Man. Here we go. Let's get this speed going. Mm. Bring it on. Jeez, we're just getting destroyed here. Uh one thing that I I noticed about this game that I, I kind of don't like is when you get hit, you don't really feel like you're getting hit. I could probably attest it to... I'm playing this on Steam with a PS4 controller, and I have to use the analog sticks to play the game, so my jumps aren't precise. Sometimes I jump and I land and he's like facing the wrong way just because of how I brushed my hand on the analog stick when he landed. Uh, it's very imprecise. That's. I feel like that's 90% of my problem with the controlling of the game, so I, I don't... I'm not going to harp on it for that, but um, it also doesn't have vibration, which is what I was getting to, so it's hard to tell when you're getting hit, or when you... sometimes you dash into something and you didn't do it kind of correctly, and it'll hurt you, and it's very hard to tell if you got hit or not uh, with, with uh, without the vibration. Sorry, I'm focusing. Try to stop saying, uh, 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 okay, here we go. 
designs of yours or something else Hello. will. Yes, well, I got stuck here. Uh, first time. Like I this part of the level I don't like at all, and I'm sure it's something that I'm doing wrong, or you need the other items, but it just feels like it slows down a game that's all about going really, really fast. Which is just kind of weird. Because this game's clearly about speed. And you can tell how different it is from Mega Man. It, it doesn't really... It looks like Mega Man, and it sounds like Mega Man, and it sort of controls like Mega Man, except there's way more button mashing. Um, you have to shoot... There's no, like, sort of rapid fire or charge shot, so you have to shoot all of your shots uh, by slamming on the... the attack button constantly, mashing it, and then you need to dash right after it, so you're like mash, 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 dash, mash, 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 dash, and that, that's the controls for the game. Yeah, I mean, it's tiring. It's it's a lot of... Whew, it's a lot of work. A lot more button mashing than Mega Man and maybe speedruns of like Mega Man 3 where people are crazy. Unless you played on the anniversary collection, because then you got an auto attack and it's the best button ever introduced. So, I, I backed this game in a decent tier. I don't remember the tiers. It was so long ago. This game's been in development for way longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, I get something like I get like a golden back character and a t shirt and some stuff. So, I'm, pr I'm pretty excited for that. And I'll, I'll definitely do an unboxing video of the stuff I get when it decides to actually release. As it is, we're still waiting. Um, the release date was supposed to be in September, and I was very excited. This was my most anticipated game of 2015, and um, it got delayed like a week before it came out, and I was like, that's kind of a shitty move. That was the first thing the Kickstarter did that actually got me kind of mad, and I was like, why wouldn't you tell us you were going to delay Like, You have to know that you're going to delay the game that late in. But, uh, because retailers already started changing their dates, and then they told the backers, and that's a little f fucked up. Uh -oh. This guy's very hard to beat, uh, without sound, because he kind of yells out his attacks. Uh, I don't listen to headphones or anything while I'm playing. Uh, I play with the sound off, so I probably play a bit here. We'll, we'll do this. Bunch of mashing. That was a mistake. I need to pay more attention. I don't want to fight you, Pyro. Please step out of it. It's no use, Meg. Oops, see that was the analog stick uh, facing the wrong direction again. That just happens when I... There's a bunch of bonuses you get, um... Yeah, it's kind of do or die, but I'm here. There we go. Uh, there's a bunch of bonuses you get as you play. Obviously the combo and the 100% for picking up a bunch of people, but you get things like Sprinter if you do the level really quickly. Uh, you get, not trick shot, but like smart tactic. No, it's not smart tactic. It, there's something you get if you counter attack them, so like you shoot them until they're purple and about to die, and then you dash right before they do a powerful attack and it cancels the attack. You get a, really a C? I felt like I did pretty well. Uh, you get a uh, Go ahead. a metal thing for that, and I just think it's cool that you can like. For me, I feel like the speed running portion of the you game is the most is the most fun. Have. But other people could play it just to want the most points or to do the most uh, of something else. I don't know. But for me, I, I'm all about getting the sprinter and kind of getting through the level as quickly as possible. I think that that's super fun. I feel like this is going to be one of the most fun games to watch speedrunners of, because you can you can really time everything uh, really really well. Like that was a bad timing, but you can really time everything well, as it should be in uh. Oh, see, I should have shot him first. And got that. It's okay. 
this level was the first level on the beta, um, so I I definitely know this level better than the others. So I should be able to do pretty well, but there's a, there's always a possibility to uh, mess it up. It's not I've done it before. Yeah, I was just kind of chilling on Twitter, and they, they were like, Hey, we're releasing that demo. If you're a backer, go check it out. So this is for anybody who backed the game at any tier. Uh, you go, you grab it from hum Humble Bundle with your email address that you use to uh, kickstart the game. So if you backed the game even at like the $5 tier, you should get this, uh, this, this demo, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, that was stupid of me. That's more like That's They do these little arena rooms. I, I think there may be one on each level. I don't like these. I'd rather there just be a mini boss than these little challenges. But whatever. That's more like it. Here we go. Yeah, this is definitely a game that memorizing Here the enemy go. placement and everything really makes it a lot quicker. Also, that fire level I believe wasn't on the beta at all before um, the other levels are. So, if you've played the beta or anything, you should know the other levels in this game. Unfortunately, I thought there was going to be more new levels. They are the finished products of the levels, though. Which Here is we go. Cool. Here we go. That's more I guess if you absorb it right after killing it, it gives you more points. That's what it looks like to me. So you almost want to do it like just like right away. That's Here we go. When I played the beta the first time, I got stuck here for quite a while. I didn't realize what you were supposed to do there. Oh, no! Oh, fuck. It's very unclear when you're invincible and when you're not in this game. I feel like it's like Mega Man 1. I can't confirm, I'm not gonna try it, but uh, I feel like if you're... Uh, Mega Buster, or sorry, if you're even if you're hurt or invincible, if you touch the spikes, you die. That's how Mega Man One was built, and they haven't gone back to that in any of the other Mega Mans. But it feels like this game's the same. But I'm, once again, I'm not going to test that theory. But I'm pretty sure that as long as uh, as long as you touch spikes, you die instantly. But could be wrong. Oh, that Here we go. Me. That was also stupid of me. Just got hit twice for no reason. Pretty upset I died. Well, I guess I'm doing pretty well. The, the reason I don't... Lower. The reason I don't like, um... The electric level that I was talking about earlier... Oh. Jeez, he dashes out of control. The reason I don't like the electric level that I was talking about earlier is because there's so many instant kills that it, to the point where it's almost a little ridiculous. Um, and there's one instant kill in particular that is very difficult to uh, avoid, and I still I, I don't know how to do it. I I had like five or six lives the first time I got there, and I lost them all just on that jump. Depending on how fast I can uh, get through this, I'll, I'll actually play it. What's up here? Oh, can I not get up there? Let's just go over to this boss room, grab whatever this is, and head in. So this is, uh, Bat. I think his name's Battalion. So, Maggot, you crawled all the way here. What 
is your major and he's the stereotypical uh, army Why general. Why would you try and stop this glorious war? Fighting is in our program. It's in Here's our circuits. Right it's what we were made I think they say whenever your ear rings like that, you lost a frequency in your ear. And I use headphones all the time at work. And uh, I've been having it happen all the time. It's like since I started doing that. Maybe I should stop. I won't be able to hear something. Okay. So focus time because I'm not getting lost. Can avoid that. He's not too hard. I've also fought him a lot just because of the beta, so. Oh, I went too late. I used the invisibility there to my advantage. Oh shit. So he does this invincible move and he screams something so you know when to dodge. I uh, couldn't hear it because I don't have sound on, so. It's very difficult for me to dodge that. Oh, I'm about to die. Let me. So you have this health recovery. It makes the game kind of easy. As long as you can get to the boss without dying too many times. I'd rather get away from him because I think he's going to do his super attack. He did. I'm just trying to hit him before he charges. See, if I die now, though, I won't have that health that I used to recharge, and I keep getting hit for some reason. I'm about to die. Fuck! I got to the point where I couldn't... His, like, gimmick is you can't see. He he puts all that fire on the screen, and then it's just hard to see him. Uh, that, I mean, obviously the fire will hurt you if you run into it, but... He's just difficult to see when he does that, and that's what makes it hard. Oh, that sucks. So I have plenty of lives. I have seven, so I'm beating him, but... The thing that's hard to... I did it again. As soon as I was talking about... What I was going to say. The thing that's hard to get out of your head is that when you dash, you're not invincible. Even though it feels like you are. So you can't dash through the bad guy's bullets. Whereas in most games like you have a dash, that's kind of what your dash is for. Not this one. In this one, if you dash, you'll, uh... You'll still get hit. Okay, so hopefully... I can dodge it. Get a good wailing on him. He, j he always faces the wrong way and then jumps at the no bad. I'm not like you. I'd never fight without good reason. Oh shit, I thought he was dead. Oh, so it killed me. That sucks. I thought he was dead, so I, I stopped trying. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I, I actually took my hand off the controller. Man. Okay, well he's dead this time. Almost no doubt. It'd be cool to beat him without getting hit. Oh, ruin that dream. That was close. Okay. Try and dodge this. Wail on him. All these freaking attacks in. I wish you had some sort of. Oh, that sucks. Some sort of knowledge. I'd rather be on the side anyway. Of when his uh, health thing is going to be up. There we go. I feel like you can really beat these bad guys or the bosses really fast if you know what you're doing. You can hit them at every junction. Like It's very rare that they're invincible or invulnerable to attacks or anything like that, so you can almost hit them at every single junction. That seems like a C to me. I did pretty poorly. Yeah. I think I got a C on the last one, though. I feel like I did well. 
I guess it just has to do with your points. I did get a save. That's weird. All right, so I'll try the power plant level. If I uh, get a game over, I, I think we'll call it. But uh, I'll try it out for you guys. I don't know. You know what? We'll see. I won't call it yet. We'll see. Because the only th the only thing that's gonna really give me a game over is that stupid uh, electric part. But we'll see when I get to it. It's, it's so dumb. I I almost thought for sure that they would take it out of the game. So it was in the beta, and I went online because I got stuck, and I was like, I don't know what to do here. And there was uh, a whole message board of people asking what to do with that part because it was so. It's different than the rest of the game, like nothing else in the beta or anything made you ash at the same time, which is the problem, which you'll see. Um, but yeah, nothing else made you do that, so I don't know why you'd think you would. And then I played it again, and they had a little thing that says, like, hey, if you duck and dash, you can dash really low to the ground. And uh, I was like, I don't think that was there last time. They must have added that. But it's, it's still not enough, because it's still a stupid move. I just killed myself. It's still a stupid move. Um, that's nearly impossible to uh, to pull off without... For a game that's all about momentum, I feel like. I think a feature, and maybe it is, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, that might have been cool, though, is like... If you... You don't have infinite lives, but instead of putting lives in the game, your lives were your points. So like, every time you die, you lose 2,000 points, 3,000 points, but you get another try. So you don't run out of tries until you're down to zero points and die. I think that would be cool. The problem with that, I guess, is if you can't get past an early part of the game, um, you're not going to get past that early part of the game, because you're going to only have like one life, essentially. So I guess that makes sense. Here we go. I'm just getting hit by all these stupid little misses. I need to not die again before that electric will, because that is going to take quite a few uh, lives for me. This is another part of this level that I feel like... Well, I don't so, before I was complaining about mini-bosses, this is like the equivalent to a mini-boss. And it's, it's silly, I think. We did that pretty quickly. Ooh, we got some help. That's super helpful. So if I can get to the boss without um, dying, I'll have a whole bunch of that reserve health. Which would be nice. That's Bring it up. I don't even understand what some of the bad guys in this game do, because you just, as soon as they appear on screen, your instincts just shoot them and then dash into them in some sort of quick fashion, so you don't even really pay attention to what enemy you're shooting, you just kind of shoot at it and then dash when it closes. Those are the only ones that I know I need to jump over, because they're in like every level. There's not many unique um, enemies to the levels, that's something I didn't really pay attention to until now, like, the electric enemy doesn't have a bunch of electric characters on her level. That would have been a nice touch. So, this, these are the electric spin wheels that I die at. And you'll see why up here where, when I die. Let you know. So this is the one. You have to, like, duck and then slide. You need to get right to the edge. I don't understand. I, I that's <laughs> full stop. I just don't understand. Um, I never, I never make it first try. I made it last time on my ninth try, I believe. And it's just, uh, it, it just seems so unnecessary. Like why can't that just not be there? Why can't it just be a jump or something? Like, the only time I feel like you should have to duck and slide in this game is if there's a platform lowering on you. It's weird to do it like this.
Okay, we did it. Wow, that was that was very good. Um, and we still have three lives, which is nice. So as long, barring me doing something really stupid and messing this up, we should be able to beat this. I'm like dying here, that would be terrible, because I believe I, I think if I die at any point in this level now, I go all the way back to lose pain blades. Uh, not all the way back, it's not far, it's just I'll lose all my lives. No, don't you? Yay. And these guys, I'm just gonna jump and shoot, jump and shoot, slide and get past this as fast as possible. Okay, and we did. I really like this character too. Not as much as Call, but I do really like this character. They had a vote for what you want in Call's weapon. That was one of the Kickstarter goals. I think I voted for a bow. I think it won. I'm not sure. I don't remember. In the official thing, you get to play as Call in like a co-op, which is really cool. Um, this game comes out February 9th, by the way. They, they announced the new release date with the uh, release of this. That's the new release date. Same day as Gravity Rush, which is fortunate for me, but kind of fortunate. I'm just going to have an awesome gaming day because I'm 100% getting both those games. Um, well, I already have this one. She's a really cool, unique boss. I, I like this one a lot. She's definitely my favorite uh, fight. You have to avoid these little electric things that she shoots. And if you do, um, I'm just gonna get hit here, unfortunately. If you do, uh, you won't get like destroyed when she does her electric attack because they stick to things. So like you'll say she shoots them, and if they stick to you. You're gonna get electrocuted. So you should blow them up off the walls so she can't uh, zap the walls. Sorry about that, we're back. A little hiccup in the recording, but we didn't lose anything. So then she makes a shield, which is really cool too. Ooh, I dodged it. I'm just gonna get hit. Oops. Um. Oh shoot, so I got a whole bunch of these things on me, so I'm going to kind of jump and shoot and try and get rid of them. I'm in a really bad position right now though. Hopefully I can break her shield. Oh no, she's going to kill me. Uh, let's use the recovery that I have. I didn't know that you could do the uh, attack that shakes those things off of you by jumping and, and kind of twirling. She's not giving me many shots on her. I was say she should be close to getting hit here, but hopefully I can just wail on her and finish off this little bit of health she has. Oh no. I'm gonna go for her. And we did. Come on. Boom! Now. Take her out. Ooh, Back. You. You. I like her little zap punch. And we probably get another C. We are clearly a C student in this game currently. But yeah, that's the Mighty Number no. 9 uh, special demo look beta thing. Um, not as much as I would have liked. A little disappointed that we didn't... My biggest disappointment is that when you beat the bad guys, you don't get their weapon. That's the whole point of Mega Man. That seemed like the whole point of this game. And it just doesn't happen in this. I, I assume that they're saving that for when the game comes out. So it's still exciting. Um, but it is a little unfortunate that you don't get any of the characters' items or anything when you kill them. Uh, maybe that's not how it works in this game, but I have to assume that's how it works, because you kind of absorb them at the end, that's the whole thing. But anyway, uh, having, having fun with it, I appreciate that they gave it out to us for free, and there's no DRM or anything on it, that's really cool. But, um, 
yeah, February 9th, the full game comes out. Let me know if you enjoyed this Let's Play. As always, I'm Kevin McManus. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll speak with you guys soon.